Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Fate here. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, Free Darkness and or Crest is averted if you prefer. Who else could it be on my channel but me? Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. It's a 58 and 2 KSG double dogs gameplay. As you can see from my kill streaks, you can probably assume I got double of each as well. And uh, just to make this gameplay seem more actually awesome. I actually managed to go I think 53 and 0 up until probably 8 minutes in where I died twice and managed to get a couple more kills for the f total score 58 and 2 but just imagine that KSG 58 and 2 or KSG 53 and 0 which sounds more cool go ahead and leave your comments below I want to know what to name this title because you know technically I'm not lying one is the final score the other is uh, pretty awesome score I got during the game um, and yeah I'm playing on this map that I hear a lot of people complain about I I really like it in my last gameplay I mentioned how much I like it and how often I do well on it and my last gameplay was a flawless on this map and yeah here's you go oh, another could have been flawless if I, if I had hidden I could have been a flawless oh well um, and the KSG even is a pretty difficult gun to use you know it's sort of a, like a sniper a cross between a sniper and a shotgun you have excellent damage but you gotta be extremely accurate and luckily I managed to somehow have enough accuracy or the other team managed to be enough of an, ac and of an inaccurate player to miss while I actually managed to aim and shoot them down uh, so this definitely was a great gameplay I really like it's probably one of my best shotgun gameplays in Black Ops 2 so I hope you guys like it as well so let's go ahead and finally transition over to the actual topic in question which is bonuses or pre-order bonuses on the Wii U so as you might know we've been skipped on a couple of DLC items for Black Ops 2 and by a couple I mean all straight up all and of course we have a lack of support online past a certain date and that's unfortunate and we've gotten some other games I have gotten DLC which is cool such as Assassin's Creed 3 uh, so it's nice to see that we aren't getting completely skipped out on but what makes me as a multi-console or multi-platform gamer hard to choose which games to get it games on for which console anyway is the fact that certain games have pre-order bonuses now granted if it's a day one download it probably should have been included in the game however it's most likely not going to because they want to as a bonus as an extra incentive for people to put down their money to kind of secure the transaction and you know there's a lot of games coming out this season it's a lot of them that are coming out for all platforms not just you know skipping out on the Wii U but all, all of them and some of these are Call of Duty Ghosts, Arkham Origins Watch Dogs, for example. Now, of course, we already know that, unfortunately, the Call of Duty Ghosts version of Wii, on the Wii U won't be getting any DLC, or at least none pre-order-wise, which is really unfortunate. Here I'm looking at the GameStop page, and it clearly states $60. We're paying for the same game, uh, but unlike the 360 version, where on the bottom is a bunch of pre-order bonuses, this doesn't have any. So as you know, if you pre-order the Call of Duty uh, Ghosts version on any console besides the Wii U, you get extra stuff like, uh, uh, what's it called? A poster, for example. Fate Wii actually wanted to go check it out. He went, he ended up getting a poster, but none of the actual other incentives such as the player card and the camouflage. That wasn't there, which was unfortunate. Um... And of course you get other incentives such as the hardened edition or the prestige edition which obviously aren't coming towards the Wii U and I gotta be honest the prestige edition looks pretty cool simply for the fact that that's a pretty nice freaking camera for the price that you're paying for it's like a GoPro uh, and you're getting a game and <laughs> that's a pretty good value unfortunately it's not for Wii U and another bonus that you'd get apparently is that you get to actually custom you get the get the classic ghost multiplayer character so basically if you play Modern Warfare 2 you get to dress as ghost for multiplayer as you know you can customize your characters in Call of Duty Ghosts here you can dress yourself as ghost only uh, from the looks of it on other consoles and on every console except for or any platform except for the Wii U 
which is very unfortunate. You also get pre-order Call of Duty Ghosts now and get the free follow dynamic bonus map, which was actually set to be coming out on Wii U, but of course got corrected. It's not coming out on Wii U, which is unfortunate. Um, also, the Call of Duty Ghost Ghost costume is apparently in limited supply, so if you if you are pre-ordering it for another console, you might want to go check that out because that looks pretty neat. Um, and of course, there's other games such as Batman Arkham Origins, which I really want to get. I got the first one for PS3 because of the Joker, because uh, you got to play as a Joker. That was awesome. I got the second. Oh, damn, look at that poster. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the GameStop page. Uh, I got the second Arkham City, yeah, on PC, on a Steam sale. Totally awesome. I loved it. Arkham Origins, I can't wait for it. Um, however, I really want it for Wii U. I was going to get Arkham Asylum, or City for Wii U, but then I, I mean, it was a Steam sale. Why am I going to get a full game that's been out for a year for full price when I can get it there? Right, so, um, and this, oh man, this game looks awesome, and it's being released on all consoles, all platforms. Um, it's going to be sixty dollars according to GameStop. It's going to be sixty or fifty nine ninety nine on both Xbox, PS three, PS four, and Xbox One. I think is it even coming out for those? No, it doesn't say that. So, as far as you're concerned, it only is coming out for PS three and Xbox three sixty, Wii U, and PC. It's sixty dollars both on PS three and three sixty. However, it's only fifty dollars on PC and Wii U. So we are paying, or Wii U are paying, $10 cheaper than the other platform or other consoles in this scenario. So that's cool. However, right here it lists under PS3 and 360 that you do in fact get the bonus included, whereas PC and Wii U version aren't going to get any DLC or any bonus DLC included, which is unfortunate because you get to play as Deathstroke, which uh, that, that's a huge incentive. I really, really would love to play as him. And, yeah, I really want to play it on the Wii U, too, because, I mean, you get all those gadgets. Imagine using those gadgets on a gamepad. That is just a sweet deal right there. And it's $10 cheaper. That is awesome. But Deathstroke is such an incentive that I'm, <laughs> I'm really considering it getting for PS3. Uh, so this is a tough decision because I really wanted to get every, basically, third-party game that comes out from all, all consoles. I was considering getting all of them for Wii U, because why not? It's a newer console, it can handle my games better, it certainly can't handle them better than PS3, because my PS3 freezes almost all of them. I mean, I played Last of Us, most of the cutscenes were stop motion, which is it's terrible. Um, so <laughs> this is really, really a nice incentive, and it's unfortunate that we're not getting that incentive either. Well, and finally, Watch Dogs has a lot of incentives, each, basically every retailer gets a different incentive. Um, and this is actually interesting. Here on GameStop, uh, it says that every version on every platform is in fact getting bonus or a bonus. So this is interesting to see. Um, I really want the bonus from on Watch Dogs on Wii U because it'll be awesome. Finally, we get a pre-order bonus. We get to be uh, getting free DLC, your day one DLC for free by getting it on a pre-order. So I really am looking forward to seeing if this actually is true. You also get a poster if you pre-order it, so that's awesome. I can't wait to see if this actually happens because it is probably a revolution for those of you who own a Wii U. Thank you guys for watching.